In case you missed it, Salah and Fudi recently took us out on one of their dates. For a vlog on their couple's channel, they went out to the town of Doha to examine the ship graveyard. Salah seemed to be having the time of his life, running around and jumping up on the empty boats, while Fudi looked particularly, hmm, disheveled. It was a hot morning with the temperatures in the 90s, so she was understandably overheated. Let's take a look. Hey guys, we are here at Ship Graveyard in Doha, Kuwait. Hi guys! <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, in all seriousness, we're here to check out. Uh, we heard there's some abandoned ships here, so it's pretty cool. There's like really huge abandoned ships, mm. but it's very smelly. <laughs> so let's go check it out anyway, see what we can see. Well, some of them have been here since the, before the Iraq invasion. We're not sure exactly why they're here, just maybe some shipwrecks from sea storms and whatnot. So let's go check it out. Yella. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. So as you can see, the tide is low. When it's high, these ships are probably mostly covered with water. As you can see from the rust stains here. Also just from being here for a long time. The funniest thing about all of this is that Salah took Fudi to the nautical equivalent of a junkyard. There's no mysterious reason why these ships appeared here. They were dragged here because they were unsalvageable and used for junk. While it is listed as a tourist attraction for Kuwait, locals mainly use it as a site to practice their photography. Just look at these beautiful photos that they managed to capture. So not only is it not a mystery, they kind of came at the wrong time of day to really appreciate the beauty of this location. While Salah may really enjoy running around on rusted metal, sunrise and sunset are really the ideal times to be out there. Just look at these cool pictures that they could have tried to capture themselves. What a waste. If I die, take care of Howie for me. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. He's in a good hand. This is really cool. This is so hot, but you said it's like you said that this is not even close to how hot it gets out here, eh? Mm. Okay. I'm not going up there. Why not? This looks interesting, babe. You go, babe. <laughs> okay. This is too much climbing for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we go to the east, or? the west. What do you think guys? Maybe north? South? <laughs> I can't see you baby. Say hi to the captain. Hi captain. Take us to shore. Oh wait, we're already on the shore. Okay. Hang on. We're gonna move. Here we go, guys. Despite all the editing, it's pretty easy to see that the area was pretty polluted, in addition to being really hot and very dangerous. Not exactly a good place for a date. If Fudi or Zola had done just the tiniest bit of research, they would have realized that it would have been better to come on a day where low tide corresponds with sunrise, so they could take some really cool photography shots. Catching the tide on the way out would have also given them a little time for a picnic in the car. Romantic! Just like the Turkish ice cream guy that Salah walked by in one of their first small vlogs, this was just another missed opportunity. Drop me a line in the comments and let me know what you think of this date vlog. I'd love to hear from you.